ladies and gentlemen, y'all already know what time it is, man. If you like the video, like the video, subscribe for more daily 2K content, and let's get right into it. NBA 2K23. Well, it's really 22 right now, man. We got an update today, and we're also going to talk about some 23 gameplay, man. Um, As always, man, y'all already know where your premium source for NBA 2K23 news is going to be. Right here on the channel. You ain't got to go looking everywhere. You ain't got to go do none of that stuff, man. All you got to do is just subscribe to the channel. Turn on likes and notice. Also, I mean, you're going to get all the news, all the best jump shots, all the best bills. And you're going to get a chance to win some VC. Y'all let me know. I want to ask y'all this since a lot of people going to see this video. I, I want to start doing something like, I want to start giving away like maybe a uh, 100,000 VC a week or something like that. Whatever it is, y'all let me know what y'all think. Uh, 100,000 VC, maybe 200,000 VC a week. We're going to figure it out. But I want to try to give it away uh, every week. And all I want y'all to do is just support the video. Just like, comment, subscribe, share. All that stuff. And then I'll pick somebody from down low that, that uh, did it, man. If that's a good idea, y'all let me know. Because I know everybody don't got the VC to make the bills and to do all this stuff. And uh, if y'all think that's a good idea and y'all really support this video, if this video can get over 10,000 views, then I'm just going gonna, gonna to start it off by giving away two copies of NBA 2K23. But like I said, y'all got to keep supporting the videos and we'll keep supporting y'all, man. But anyway, man, that's, that's, that's neither here nor there. Oh, uh, without further ado, we about to get this thing on the way. Let me get myself in here. So check it out, bro. Um, uh, right off the bat, I hope this is the right one. Wrong one. Dang. Here we go. NBA 2K22. Uh, patch 1.018. Um, charges out August 10th. And of course, as usual, we don't really have anything on the visual concepts has released the NBA 2K22 uh, update. Uh, patch 1.018 on next gen consoles. Uh, of their basketball sim. Uh, given that NBA 2K23 is almost here, don't expect any major patch updates. Uh, you know, read what we got. And then it just says, like right now, as of, as one might expect, Visual Concepts has not released the official patch notes for the game yet. Uh, though we're expecting and hoping that, that that will change once the devs wake up. We're looking out for we're looking out for any changes. And if you spot any changes, you know, leave a comment down below. And of course, we got no comments below because that's just how it goes with 2K. Um, you know, they put the patch out. I can tell you what the patch is going to be. Y'all know the end of the week is the um, you know, the next season. So all the time, you know what they always do, they always patch in the stuff that's going to be in the season changes. This is going to be all the new season changes. It's going to be all the new season gear. We don't know what any of it is just yet. I'm sure we will. Today is Wednesday, so we'll definitely know by tomorrow. But they'll probably drop it later on today. And like I said, just keep keep yourself locked here. Uh, you know, subscribe and all that good stuff. Comment down below, all that good stuff, so we can make sure we get that get that popping for y'all, man. So, but like I said, it's, it's undoubtedly we we haven't gotten. Normally what they do is they'll drop the patch the same time and they normally drop their patch on Tuesday, but they didn't. So they dropped it on Wednesday. Um, I, I'm guessing, I don't know if the current, there, at the time of the video, there was no current gen patch, but normally they'll go ahead and patch um, current gen also and they just changes the ship and all that stuff and puts all the stuff in for the also oh coveted season nine because y'all know season eight is over tomorrow and I have not been as active as I should have been uh, in this season, but you know, it is what it is. Up next, man, check this out, bro. But uh, like I said, 2K, y'all got to do better. If y'all don't do nothing else, man, put that 2K do better down in the comment section, man, because they got to do better about giving us these these uh, these uh updates, man. I've been on all the dev sites. I've been over here on um, on Mike on Mike Joint, man. This should be it right here on here. Hey, we don't have any new updates. But what we do got on Mike is something from Jumpman Jern, man. Hey, Jumpman Jern about to talk to y'all for a second, man. Listen to that boy. Listen to that boy, Jumpman Jern. As you can see here, you'll notice a major difference in your stamina this year, which has been changed with a new feature implemented to prevent over dribbling with the concept of adrenaline boosts, which there are three available boosts per player per possession mm. shown as three small bars under the stamina meter that bars. are consumed every time you perform a hard go or explosive sprint launch. Once your three boosts are gone, you'll notice that your speed and acceleration decrease significantly for the remainder of the possession. Mm. As with dribble combos, it's important to play smart basketball and be efficient with your movement rather than zigzagging back and forth aimlessly trying to get around the defects. As you mm. can see here, now you'll notice some major man, difference in your stamina man, this Jeremy year. Already, I gotta get, get that up out of there. He, he already put it out there, man, and he's telling y'all what's going on. I'm gonna leave that graphic up there a little bit more uh, just one more time so y'all can kind of see. The one thing I do 
agree with. Um, you know, a lot of people might say that they don't like. Let me let me hit this screen right here. What they don't like is the the how quickly the stamina goes down. I think that they should, as far I mean, let's look five or six dribbles uh, versus infinite infinite dribblage on the other side. Now, what I will say is this: you don't have like on this. You do have, while we do have it to where, uh, hold on, this is one that I want to watch it in, right? While we do have it to where uh, this year you sh your, your stamina bar shared with both dribble moves and your movement. So I understand why the bar depletes a little bit faster uh, at this point in time, but what do y'all think? Do y'all think that the bar should not deplete as quickly? Because like I said, from what I'm assuming, even when your bar goes down to the red, you will still be able to um to ex perform an explosive lunch or whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So because the bars are split up, I understand why the um the dribbling bar goes down a lot faster than it did because on, on the left side, you'll see it doesn't deplete at all while he's dribbling. But once he starts moving, that's when it depletes. On the right side, it depletes. It doesn't matter what he's doing. It's depleting, you know, what have you. But on the left side, if that bar depleted while he was dribbling, then he wouldn't be able to do any explosive launches. But on the right side, even with that bar being red, he can still do an explosive launch. He can speed boost. He can do whatever he needs to do. So I think that it is balanced what they're trying to do. Uh, with it going down. I don't know if it needs to be going down that much, but at the same time I don't want them to change anything because we don't know what badges Lonzo has somebody I think somebody went in there and said they don't know if Lonzo got platinum handle for days or what have you They don't have he, he doesn't have a uh, Hall of Fame handle for days So if he doesn't have Hall of Fame handle for days then then you know We don't know how this is going to go yet So I feel like I want them to allow us to get this and let the community touch it and let the real cheese heads and all those guys let them have it for a week before we change anything because when they change the uh steals and stuff the cheese heads was just wait what what happens every year is this cheese heads say well we're gonna wait for them to do the first couple of patches and if they don't patch it uh in the first couple of patches so if it's not patched by the middle of october it's not getting patched until like january 30th so what they will always do is keep all of the cheese kind of hidden just like the left right cheese they, they didn't let it get all the way out there and then once we once they did the october patch bam everybody was doing it and so i want them to let the game stay like this in this state for a little bit let's see what happens when the badges if, if it still goes down like this and you got hall of fame handle for days then i feel like it's an issue but at the same time we're gonna have some people that say man you're just gonna have to pass that rock or do something else or you're gonna have to size your guy up and just go rather than you know what i'm saying rather than just sitting there and, and patting the rock all day. You know what I'm talking about? Pat the rock. Pat, pat the rock. So I, I don't know. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Like I said, it's going to be a big W for defense either way. I think that, that the way that this is working, it's definitely going to be a defensive oriented game. And if you're a good offensive player, you'll be able to figure this out and get through it. But if you're not, and you just want to spam the rock, spam dribble and stuff like that, you're going to have a hard time. Like I said, I don't completely agree with how the stamina is going down and the speed at which it is. But again, we don't know what badges he has. We don't know what his uh, stamina uh, rating is. We don't know any of that. So once we do know, and even if we knew it in NBA 2K22, we wouldn't know what it was in 23. So once we get all of that information and we know exactly what we're dealing with in this situation, then we'll be able to uh, do it. But right now we're really comparing apples to oranges because we don't know uh, what's going on. And then when you really look at it, Lonzo Ball, I mean, he probably don't even have handle for days in the games because if, I mean, he, he doesn't dribble like that. He's really a one, a one cut go type of guy. You know, you know what I'm saying? If you play football, that's what we would say. You're one cut go type of back. But he's a one cut go type of guy. So, you know, he don't do a whole lot. And he passes the ball more than he dribbles. So I would assume that he probably doesn't have uh, handles for days or what have you on Hall of Fame. But anyway, man, you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section. Do you think this is going to be a rim run fest or a or or just one of those games where you got to pass the ball a lot? I feel like it's probably going to be a lot more like NBA 2K20 where... You'll be able to do what you want to do, but when you get down to the end of games, like that bar is going to be depleted and you're not going, you, you just got to be very judicious with your turbo. We figured it out in 20 and we feel like 20 is one of the best games. At 18 to 18 and 20, you almost didn't have any stamina left. So again, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Is it a bit too extreme or do we just want to wait and see 
what happens and how this is gonna go, man. Uh, again, once again, video hit 10,000 views. We're gonna start the initiative, man. We're going to start doing the, um, we'll start doing the, the giveaways and stuff like that. So we'll be like, we're gonna give away two copies of NBA 2K22, but, and then the only requirement is gonna be, you just gotta like and comment on every video. That's it. You gotta do nothing else. You already watching the video, just like and comment. But if we hit 10, we hit 10,000 views on this one, we're gonna start the initiative and then we're gonna get it popping. And then every video of NBA 2K23, we're gonna do like a weekly giveaway of uh, 100,000 VC or maybe 200,000 VC. I know a lot of people don't have a lot of money to be able to, to make their bills. So I just wanna help you guys out, man. Cause it's ridiculous, man. Bro, hey, Prince, where them gummy bears at? Man, this dog on bag of gummy. Let me tell y'all the, in, the uh, in inflationary times that we're living in. This bag of gummy bears used to cost $3.50. When the pandemic started, it cost $4. How much it cost now, Bridget? Uh, it was $4. This thing is $10 now. Or something real close to that at Walmart. Bro. It's exactly tick, bro. I, it's it's crazy. I can sustain through these inflationary times because I'm blessed enough to have a, you know, the job that I got. And then, you know, I mean, YouTube is not even a drop in the bucket, really. But she gonna laugh at me because she already know what time it is. She be wondering why I be doing it so much sometimes. But, it, I mean, I understand what it is right now, man. So y'all boys, if she gave me the, she gave me the look. She, she know I love doing YouTube, but that ain't the point. We know you guys, we know a lot of people can't afford to make bills like that, and uh, I just want to help to help you guys out, man. So, look, that's what we're going to do. Just make this video hit 10 grand. That's it. And then we're going to start the initiative off. And if it don't, I know y'all really don't rock with your boy, and I mean, it is what it is. Anyway, holla at y'all next time, man. Till next time. It's your boy, Jay Easy, a.k.a. Fresh from the Barbershop, BK of the People's Gym. Guys, please.